Hi everyone, um, in today's video um, I'm going to try to replace the active grill, the lower part, on a G30 5 Series BMW, so I'm going to have to remove the bumper, remove the bumper and this is, this is the lower part active grill, which is, it's not closing, so it's straight from BMW and its location is there if you can see it on the bottom on the bottom of the bumper so what we're gonna have to do is remove the screws under you can see the clips screws and there is there's two more screws somewhere located in here so we're gonna have to Remove this, I don't know if you can see, right, remove this cover and the screws should be there, fixed to the fixings, so yeah, and then what else we need to do, let's pop the bonnet up, so, put the bonnet, but before we remove the bumper, so we need to remove these pieces of plastics. So you got, you got the fixings here, fixing here, fixings here. So basically clips here, there, there. So you just, no, actually you do need this one, this one, this one. So we pull out the clips and then you're going to have to loosen up these screws and clips so this this comes off together with the bumper i'm gonna try to see if i can remove just one side of the bumper and access that lower active grill there so basically yeah so you've got the top grill flaps this is the flaps vertical and then you've got horizontal in the bottom so they closes and opens when the vehicle needs it like you know when it's cold to warm up the vehicle so that thing it doesn't work on mine so I'm gonna try to replace all right so I'm gonna use the drill to speed up the process don't screw the screws got some bucket I'm gonna put all my screws there to so make sure I don't, I don't lose them. Okay. So that's, you can see this. Okay, managed to open this cover. Full of dust. So basically, see, so you have to press this clips down and it will come out. So it is a bit difficult to do it because not enough space, but it's possible. Then you remove this this guard, and you can see you can see down the bottom one of the screws like that. So you need to remove this screw, we'll loosen up the bumper, and there's another screw inside. dark is can't see but yeah if you have a torch use a torch and should be able to do it right so I'm quickly gonna show you how to remove this clip yeah I got a tool like this I'm not gonna show how to remove each everyone but just one one clip so you have idea 
but then you don't want to lose it so this is what the clips looks like so you just pull out this thing comes out see later you just put it back same way this is number eight spammer ratchet spammer I undo the screw done so copy paste like this right. so here take my drill and remove these screws from the front grill no need this one see where is this basically plastic wheel This one's oops, that's no good. I lost the pin and somewhere inside. Oh, that's no good. Gonna have to find it. Right, so removing this cover. Oh, right, where's the pin? Okay, so you see the rubber seal? Just take off the rubber seal. Done loose okay don't forget to loose this from here seal here we go see now it's loose it's ready to come out with the bumper so i've, I've done there was two screws in the corner Let's pull it out and comes out like this the bumper I right, need more hands so managed to remove the bumper so just a quick recap so you got this connectors <laughs> these connectors so this is goes here um, this one goes here on the top so you just have to push out here and here so this is goes here there this is connects to this one so this is the location where it sits and right so we have active grill active grill here so as you can see not sorry screws here and then clips should come out and can we see something here we have to disconnect the cable so probably it should be visible from that side I mean if you want you can probably remove this polystyrene but I'm not gonna touch it at the moment just gonna undo this Cruise. <clears throat> I'm 
Это нужно здесь круз. Okay, one, two, three, four. Let's see how easy this thing comes out. Oh, that's pretty easy. Right, we got the cable there. Um, this is polystyrene fit on the way. Let's see if we don't have to disconnect this cable. All right, let me disconnect the cable. So as you can see, put the new one in. So I don't have to film that. So it's quite easy. So four screws on the top and just comes out easy. The same, same way it goes back in. So now I'm gonna have to put it back everything in place. All this bumper, everything to put it back in place. Okay, let's put it back. So I've connected everything back, start the car, and as you can see, the active grill now is closed. So, and the bottom one as well, you can see everything works fine. So basically the, the top and a little motor have been replaced already and still was not working. So now I replaced the lower part. The active grill and it's working now so all good wicked so also we're going gonna do I'm gonna go on my app go to my phone download it cause beamer link and we're gonna clear we're gonna clear some errors let's scan We're gonna scan for faults. Let's see if that we need to clear some faults after replacing the the grill. Sorry for the shaky videos. Alright, so three errors. Dynamic stability or motor electronics. Okay, so you see active cooling air flap below diagnostic feedback, just on range lower flap too small. So that was the lower part of active grill. So let's go and delete that fault. Clear error. See if it's gonna... Okay, error cleared. Or we can press just this one on the top and clear all errors. So yeah, so... If you're gonna do yourself, I would recommend you to download uh, this app and get that dongle It just plugs in Obviously, it costs money, it's, it's not big money, but you can clear, you can, you can uh, diagnose any errors on, on your car on your vehicle and uh, clear them and it saves you a lot of money to take into the service and replacing that active grill not all errors can be cleared, please try again. So some, some errors, it's not clear, but it's okay. Internal control units, security access open. So maybe the, maybe this is because of the bonnet is open, I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna do that once I finish head unit radio, some nonsense. Yeah. Beamer link, okay? So, here we go problem solved active grill is working again so thanks very much guys for the watching please subscribe to my youtube channel and yeah enjoy your day press that like button and see you later bye